Hey, welcome everybody to another video from Max Laser, and today we are going to be doing a demonstration on the Thunderbolt. I have done a series of videos up to date, so if you haven't seen some of those videos, um, please go check it out on YouTube. I have done a couple of um, uh, videos regarding the Thunderbolt. I've done some laser cutting, some laser engraving on certain materials. I am going to be doing more, but I thought it's actually a nice time to actually do a demonstration on the Thunderbolt. So if you're looking at getting into the industry, um, this will be a great video to watch because then you can actually see me do a demonstration on the Thunderbolt. And um, yeah, you know, I want to show you guys uh, my honest feedback. I want to give you the positives and negatives so you guys can make an informed decision on if the Thunderbolt is the right machine for your needs. So I, I don't want you to have buyer's remorse. There's too many times I've encountered clients and um, you know, they, they, they've got buyer's remorse of a couple of months after purchasing a, a machine. So you, I think you guys need to do as much research as possible. And um, if you wanna come through and see a live demonstration, you're more than welcome to. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you all the different features of the Thunderbolt and everything that I have um, taken on up until this point in my previous videos. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so here's the Thunderbolt. Um, amazing machine, just from the look of it, incredible. Uh, and this is uh, the X and Y gantry. Again, you can see that Thunder Laser, you, you've come to expect uh, top quality now from Thunder Laser. Um, you know, gone are the days that you think that uh, Asian machines are, are useless. <laughs> not a chance, not when it comes to Thunder Laser. Um, so here we've got a, a new upgrade, which is a touchscreen, which is a great feature. Uh, you can unlock the, the, the keypad there and you can actually move the laser head up and down and left to right. But here you've got your files, you've got a whole lot of storage there. On your files, you've got one gig of storage space, which is amazing. Some of these are also some of the other features here. You've got your autofocus over there. And um, in connection with your, uh, I'll go back to it now, menu on external devices, here you can um, advise the machine when to stop the, and when to start the exist and, and, and fan. And this is a smart operating system, which is great, which is again, something that the other machines don't have. So you're gonna have a lot of noise um, where this machine will kick in and switch off automatically and will keep the, the noise level to a minimum. The machine bed is not the biggest, but it's definitely big enough for doing a lot of most of your projects there. This is the Z axis. This is able to drop down so you can fit a, um, any, any object that you want to engrave uh, in this bed. It could be like a bag or maybe a wine bottle, something to that nature. A wine box, should I say. Uh, There's the, the honeycomb. Again, it's magnetic, so which is great. I don't know why more laser suppliers don't actually do have a magnetic honeycomb. It's, it's one of the biggest key features that you need when you're starting to do laser engraving and cutting, especially when you want to keep material in the same place. You cut it out like this, you take out that piece, you peel off the plastic, put it back in, and then you can carry on uh, engraving again. It's, and also what about leather? You know, if you want to keep leather flat, this is a CCD camera which comes standard with the Thunderbolt. Now the machine comes standard like this. Um, you, so you can position it exactly where you want it to be. Um, you do have the X-Tools and other machines that will come standard with the, with the um, CCD camera, but the, not to this quality. You know, uh, The engraving quality is just uh, far, far superior because of the metal tube. This is a bit underrated in actual fact. I actually didn't think too much of the tray, but so many of my clients are so happy that they've got this tray. It just keeps, the, keeps your machine clean. You don't have a whole lot of wood and acrylic falling down at the bottom and messing up with the, the Z-axis bolts. So that's a, that's a good feature there too. Um, this is your, just showing your hybrid server motor. This is what, makes, this is what ca uh, allows the, 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 the laser head to travel at a thousand millimeters per second. Again, all our competitors from Asia can only go to 400 millimeters per second or 600 millimeters per second. So they, they are a lot slower uh, than this machine. And uh, yeah, obviously, this is just one of the jobs that I did on one of the other YouTube videos um, I did the other day with engraving red and white. So, and 
here is the metal laser tube. So the metal laser tube has a much smaller beam spot diameter, which allows you to engrave with superior quality. Um, and it will also last a little bit longer than a glass tube. Yes, it is going to be more expensive when you replace it, but it's, you know, you have to see like how much work you're going to be doing. If you're doing a lot of engraving, it's definitely worth it. Um, this is the uh, piping. This is the only external piping. There's no water chiller. There's no um, uh, air assist that's outside, which is a great feature. It keeps everything nice and compact. This is the air assist. That's the uh, that's to control the amount of airflow that you want out of the air assist. And Thunder Laser have built the air assist on the side of the laser head, which allows you to now cut the acrylic. And on the edge of the acrylic, you get a nice polished look and feel. Whereas if the air assist was blowing through the laser head, it would have more like a little bit of like a, a smudge mark. And the Thunderbolt is fitted with a 1.5 inch focus lens, which is great for engraving. All right, there we go, guys. That's all the features that the Thunderbolts can offer you. And so far, I'm super impressed. Uh, with the videos that I've been posting on YouTube um, of late, I think it's a great option to consider. Um, if you are doing signage, big laser cutting projects, um, wall art, stuff where you actually need a lot of space, then I wouldn't say that this machine is for you. Um, those, those types of machines is more the Nova series from Thunder Laser. Um, those machi machines will be a better choice for what you need. But if that is, uh, if that is something that you're not going to be uh, thinking of doing, then I think the Thunderbolt is a fantastic choice for you. Uh, the price range is very competitive. It's fitted with a metal tube. Um, and even with the, the 30 watt metal tube, it's still able to laser cut up to 10 mil acrylic. So, you know, how much thicker do you want to cut? I'm very, very impressed with the Thunderbolt. If you want to reach out to us and schedule a live demonstration, you're more than welcome to. Uh, we do supply the machine nationwide. Uh, because of the price point, we don't offer um, on location training, but we can do remote training. And um, I just want to also mention that, you know, if you're doing some research, which I highly suggest that you do do, uh, considering uh, making sure that you are choosing the right laser machine for you, um, you will notice that we are probably not the cheapest, but we're also certainly not the most expensive. We are in the middle. We're offering good value for money, in my, in my opinion. And one of my technicians always say, you know, we're in the game of selling machines. We're not in the game of servicing machines. So saying that we're selling a great brand, our brand is worldwide. You know, um, you can go onto YouTube and you can see many good reviews on the brands that we are selling. Now, when you're choosing a machine, for me, I think that is very critical because something cheap now, is more expensive in the long run. So I hope that this video has helped. I hope that we have shed some light and made it a little bit easier for you to choose which machine or what type of machine you are looking for. And yeah, I'm gonna be carrying on with the YouTube videos. So I'll see you guys on the next. Cheers.